Oh, that hurt. <laughs> oh, cortisone is not my friend. <laughs>
Oh my God, why is the sticker on the actual, oh, I hate that, on the actual item instead of on the plastic? Anyways, I got this really nice uh, recipe helper book. It is so nice. Here, let me just take this plastic off so you can kind of see. Well, it is brand new, so I kind of want to keep the plastic on, but there you go. But it has, um, it has all different kinds of sections. Um, recipe helper, introduction, cooking terms and methods. Uh, what's that? Oh, how much of this equals that? That is a really great um, helper right here. That is an awesome helper. I might have to take a picture of that so I could keep it. <laughs> um, substitutions, doneness. Oh, wow. Baking secrets, cookie tips, grilling and barbecuing basics. Oh, this is awesome. I didn't look at all this. Herbs and spices, cheese, wine, food safety tips. Uh, all these are recipe pages to write your recipes on. And then all of these are little pockets to keep your recipes in. And they're all divided. Appetizers, soups and salads, main dishes, side dishes, desserts, and miscellaneous. This is a really, really nice uh, item right here. <laughs> it's great. Oh my gosh, I didn't even realize all of that. Holy schmoles. All right. And then I picked up, uh, this is a Lefton, um, a Lefton music figurine. It plays Here Comes Santa Claus, and it is Santa. He's cool. He does have a little chip uh, right here in his uh, paint, but that's an easy touch up. He's got a couple little scuff marks, you know, but hey, he's a hardworking guy, so he scuffed up his patent leather boots, <laughs> but he is very cool. I love him. So we got that. Um, I decided, because I said I was going to probably sell most of my... Um, Anchor Hocking Moonstone collection. Most of that is on my dresser in my bedroom, housing my jewelry and my brooches and all that kind of stuff. Um, I do have a regular uh, square jewelry box that I keep um, certain things in, but to take the place of all of those items that are on my dresser, I got myself this, just a plain old jewelry box. Uh, it was $9.99. Um, but it's really nice. It's got uh, all the drawers, and then you open, and it has the thing for your necklaces and your rings. So, uh, I got that for myself. All right. And then, let me slide this over. Because I am such a dork, I, I, <laughs> I had to get this. It was 29 stinking cents. And it is one of those Dollar Tree solar um, little things they move um, from the, you know, from the, uh, from the sun, the rays from the sun, the solar, uh, whatever. <laughs> and I just, you know, I love ghosts, so I had to get it. I couldn't stand it. But it is adorable. Solar Swinging Ghost. And the last thing I got was this box. Um, they are brand new in here. Yeah, it was, uh, what were the tags yesterday? I did take a picture. Um, well, you know what? It would say 50% off of a $1.99. What was a dollar ninety nine? 
I don't know. Anyways, that was the only thing. But these are beautiful. And this is a false craft item. Look at these beautiful frosted candle holders. We got the polar bear on that side. And then this beautiful winter greenery with snow. And then the other one, the other one is the same. So it is a set. And they are beautiful. These are beautiful for winter. Um, this one has a little bit different um, greenery on it. So very, very pretty um, for this set. And it comes with the candles as well. So I wasn't going to pass that up. Um, I think it was, what was it? It was two, $2.99. So... I purchased that. And um, yeah, that was it from good old Salve. Uh, not much. Now, let's move on to Goodwill because I have a ton. So I have two boxes down here. So as I go along, you will see me bending down to put the stuff in these boxes. It makes it easier for me to carry everything into the good old eBay room. Um, speaking of eBay room, I hope you guys enjoyed the shipping video. Um, at one point, I will show how I uh, do my invoices and how I print my um, labels and whatnot um, once I get payment. So that'll be another upcoming video. I also am going to have an upcoming, um, if you could believe it or not, a craft video for St. Patrick's Day, and it's going to be a polymer clay video. So hopefully within the next week or so, thereabouts, hop, skip, and a jump, possibly, <laughs> week and a half, um, I will be working on that as well. All right, now on to the haul. Uh, let's see. Last week, purple tags were half off. And I know this was a purple tag item. Now, I, I can't remember exactly what I spent. Jessica was with me and she said she thought I spent like $33. I can't find my receipt. So, we'll go with that. Um, I got this really pretty, uh, you know, I would say this is a winter candle holder. Um, it has, I don't know if it works because the battery's probably, yeah, no, it needs a battery. But um, let's see, what size batteries does it take? Triple A, three of them. So this will be really pretty. I should have uh, put batteries in it before the video, but you know what? I forgot. So I purchased that. Um, I got this thermos for my son, he already has one like this. Um, and it comes with uh, a spoon that fits in here. And obviously this one is missing, but he could interchange spoons with the thermoses. And these are really nice um, for taking hot things um, to work like soup and chili. Um, so I figured I would grab him another one. Uh, it was a, a good price, so I I grabbed it, even though it was missing the spoon. So, we got that. So, that's a, a me thing. That goes over there. All right. I saw these, and these are hand-painted ceramic uh, pieces. They were painted by a lady named Irene. And I have to say, she did a phenomenal job on these. These are those little kissing Dutch... Uh, husband and wife or boyfriend and girlfriend or whatever crushes whatever you would like to call them but look at what a beautiful job that she did on them i mean look at let me show you her first she's got all the little flowers on her look at how cute she is they do have quite a bit of crazing but i mean she did a fantastic job look at this guy how handsome is he with his blonde hair? 
You know how those Dutch people are with the blonde hair and the blue eyes. I mean, they're just impeccably done. So Irene, fantabulous job. I really wish she would have dated them, but she did not. Uh, and this, I think, is a Holland mold. These are Holland mold. There is the HM on her shoes there. So, got those. Those are really cute. Um, then I saw these glasses, and I just thought they were so pretty. Uh, I think these might have been on sale. I am not sure, but look at these glasses. Aren't these cool? And they're and they're a uh, thick, very thick glass. You could see by the rim, and they have like a textured pattern to them. I just thought they were beautiful, and they are marked uh, Bormioli. No, wait, Bor yeah, Bormioli. Uh, and then it has that starburst on the bottom. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let me see. Can we get... There it is. There it is. So there we go. We got those. Then I got these beautiful... Um, I couldn't get all the sticker all the way off. Uh, these beautiful wine glasses. Look at these. Aren't those gorgeous? Look at that beautiful blue. Just beautiful. Maybe I could say beautiful another 150 times in the video. Uh, that's a very good possibility, but they are. They really are. So I got the set of two of those. Very, very, very pretty. Uh, I then got, actually, give me these scissors so I can cut all this tape off of here. My, oh, I don't, maybe I don't need to. Oh my gosh. They really got tape happy. Holy smokes. I think my mother at one time might have had something pretty similar to these. Wow. This tape is ridiculous. Can't even get it all off. Sorry, guys. Pardon moi while I try to. Oh, my goodness. I almost got it, most of it, anyway. And then, of course, I have sticker remnants on here. But remember these, guys. Remember these. I want to say they were like home interiors or something. But they're that pretty copper. I thought they were so pretty. So I picked those up. Three different sizes. So we got those. I will slide those whoops, in here this way. All right, be nice. Be nice. All right, I dropped my scissors. Uh, then I got this really cool set of uh, bottle stoppers, brand new in the box, Casa Decor. Uh, which means home decor. Uh, casa is Spanish for home, I think. Uh, I never took Spanish a day in my life, but I think that's what it is. And they're like that Southwestern kind of a um, design. Very, very pretty. So I picked those up. Uh, and then the last item I got in this trip was this set of birch candle holders. I don't have big enough hands. I have a set of three, as you can see in graduated sizes, and they are like a resin plastic. And you know, they're made in China, but 
they're for tea lights or votive candles, I guess. Um, I just thought they were really, really cool. Uh, and I know a lot of people have that rustic decor, so I picked them up. And I just, I really, really like these. So, there we have those. All right, so that was that trip. I don't think I spent $33, though. So. Uh, okay, moving on. So now we are moving on to what I bought yesterday for Senior Tuesday. So here's my receipt. Um, I, my discount saved me $29.60. So that's pretty awesome considering I spent $88. Mm. Yes. All right. So. I am going to forewarn you that I did go a little bonkers with plush, plush stuffed animals because they did sell pretty well for me. So I thought, hey, why not try again, you know? Uh, yeah. So let me start with the first one. I love this guy. He is <laughs> so cute. He is awesome. <laughs> Look at him. Look at that hair. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he is just adorable. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to do a thumbnail. It's not working. But anyways, oh, it was working. Oh. So, um, yeah, he is just awesome. And he is made by Jelly Cat is the name of the company. He's so cool. <laughs> I love him. We'll put him over there. Uh, let's do the stuffed animals. Let's just do it and get it done. All right, I bought... Uh, okay, so this week's tag color was blue was 50% off. And I really didn't find too much that was blue. So, all right. So, I bought one, two, three, four bags of Beanie Boos. Each bag was $3.49 less 25%. So it works out to be, I think like $2.12 a bag. So let's go through and see what we have in here. Uh, <laughs> we have an octopus. He is, or she, it's, it's a she cause she's pink. She is adorable. Oh my word. I can't read the date on there, but we got her. This one still has its tag. And his name is Crawley. Oh my word, look at him. He's from 2014. <laughs> This one has this tag as well. This one is coconut. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, look at this one. She's a little cutie. Her name is Kiki. This one has its tags too. Oh, how cute. This one's name is Squeaker. Oh, look how cute. Look at those eyes. Oh my goodness. And then we have, we have another unicorn and this one is um, Pixie. No tags on this little guy. So that's that bag. So I gotta say, my two favorites out of this bag is definitely 
uh, Crawley, and this little girl. This is Ollie. All right, so that's that bag. What do we got in this one? Oh, this one looks like a good one. Oh, we have a whale or a dolphin. This is Surf. No, no tag on that one. <laughs> All right, this is uh, just Parkway Toys. This is not a Beanie Boo, but this is a little purple dinosaur. <laughs> Then we have a uh, Paris, no tag. Oh, look how cute. Let me fix this hair. Oh my goodness. This is fluffy. Oh dear, oh, this one, th oh, this one, they cut the tag off, which kind of aggravates me, but look at this one. <laughs> oh, and then we have, this one is Faye. And for some reason, they put tape on the tag. I don't know why. Maybe to stop it from fading. Look at that. It's a little fox. <laughs> so that was that bag. So listen, I still got a lot to go, guys. So if you want to, like, take a potty break, go grab something to drink, you know, Check on the kids, make dinner, you know, whatever. I'll still be here. <laughs> All right. Let's see what we got in this one. Oh, look at this little guy. He's He is has some staining, so I'm going to try and give this one a wash because she is adorable. This is Ellie. Look how cute she is. See, she's got some some staining. So, we got her. Oh, look at this one. This one is Cancun. It reminds me of cotton candy. Oh, this one's a big one. This one is Glamour. <laughs> this one is not a uh, Beanie Boo, but it is uh, by Sea Life. So I'm thinking it might be like, uh, I don't know. It's the, I don't know. I don't know what it is. We have, oh, this is just a little, little beanie, black kitty cat. And this one, this one has its tags. This one is called Duke. Look how cute he is. He's got blue, blue inside his ears. Got a little blue tail on the end. He's a cutie. All right, so we got those. Yep, I'll wash that little elephant right up. All right. Okay, this is the last bag. And then I had found some random ones that weren't bagged up. Oh, this one is adorable. This one's a pelican. This one's name is Ice Cube. <laughs> oh, this is just a Minnie Mouse one. Look at her. She's cute, but she does, she's not a beanie boo, but she is a tie. She's got her tag on there. 
Uh, this one is cute. This one has its tag. This one is Zoe. <laughs> Look how cute they are. Oh my goodness. Oh, here's another elephant. This one is Ellie. This is another Ellie. She's cute. And she's nice and clean, but she doesn't have her tag. We got this guy. He's got his tag. His name is... Uh, Tabitha. Beanie babies? These are beanie boobs. And then this little guy is going to need a washing too. This is uh, Waddles. He's a penguin. Uh, no tag on that one. So, look at a mini tie. Yeah. Mini. What are you doing with those? I saw them. Where you see this bunny I got? Like a plush bunny? Yeah. Oh, it looks so real. Doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It's made by Aurora. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'll show you guys in a second. I just want to finish up with the beanie boos. <laughs> All right, so we got a uh, raccoon with the tag. It's Roxy. We got a big um, Fantasia unicorn with the tags. Oh, there's her ear. <laughs> then we have uh, this cute one. This is another unicorn. This is Harmony with the tags. This reminds me of a confetti cupcake. <laughs> we have another unicorn. This one's name is Blitz. And it has its tag. Oh, this one is really cute. This is an owl unicorn. And his name is Enchanted. And he has his tag as well. Look at him. Oh, I almost dropped them. And the best one, the bestest best one is Patsy the Poodle. Look how cute she is. <laughs> oh, she is adorbs. So that's all the beanie boos. So this is the bunny I was showing Jessica. Look at him. You want him, don't you? I don't know. Maybe. Look at, he is so cute. He's <laughs> yes. In case you're wondering, bunnies are like my most favorite animal for whatever reason. Yes. Then I got this one for a friend of mine who happens to love flamingos. Uh, Blue Merc? No. Oh. Crafty Jackie. Oh. And this one is a jelly cat plush. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> it reminds me of one of the Muppets. You know what I mean? From Fraggle Rock. Oh my God, that is just too much. So then I got some amazing hand crocheted or knitted, whatever it is, items. I'll tell you what it is. I it's got, crocheted. I know this is crocheted. That's the shell one. I got this gorgeous blanket. It is a baby blanket. And it is beautiful. It is like brand new. Gorgeous. Look at the colors. Easter colors, actually. Pastels. Yes. Pastels. Oh, 
Or how, how they say it in the UK, pastels. Pastels. Mm -hmm. All right, so we got that gorgeous blanket. Then I got this beautiful handmade, look at this little sweater. And it comes with a hat. Yes. Isn't that gorgeous? How can you, $2.09 for the set. Like, do you know how much work went into something like this? This is brand new. It's gorgeous. And then to go with this and to make it like a set, I purchased these two items because they're, they're the same uh, yarn, I believe, that they used to make that. We have a blue blanket, which is in perfect condition. And we have a white little blanket. This could be used as a burp, um, a burp cloth if need be, because it's tiny, or it could be used to cover the baby up in the crib. But yes, it's perfect. So I will be selling um, the white blanket, the blue blanket, and the sweater and the hat as one whole set. Gorgeous, beautiful items. So, and then I'll put all the stuffed animals back in here. All right, there we go. Oh, I forgot this guy. I just, I, is he not like the cutest thing ever? <laughs> I love him. <laughs> He's so cute. <laughs> All right, now for the rest of the haul, I don't have, we're almost done. We're almost done. I gotta have a sip of pop though. Okay. All right. So I found this is brand new, never used in the box. Pampered Chef. I keep telling you guys, Pampered Chef sells really well on eBay. Um, this is a manual food processor. And like I said, brand new in the box. Look at that, brand spanking new, has the bag and everything that it was in, has the directions, um, and it has, actually has the, uh, this goes on here, I guess, like that, and then this goes on there, and then you kind of put it in there like that. There we go. Yeah. I don't know why I'm going through all this because I'm going to have to take it out to take pictures. But, yep. So we got that. Oops, let's put that in there. Can't forget the instructions. All right, so there's that. Uh, I got this really pretty um, Mother of Pearl a lidded dish. It is really pretty. Um, it is made in Japan. Royal Sealy. Let me show you the sticker. And it's beautiful. Um, and the only issue it has is a teeny, 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 tiny little chip right there. That's an easy touch up. Um, but yeah. Beautiful, beautiful dish pansies on there so we got that 
I got this real pretty little green bowl. I guess you could use it if you wanted to. You could put little uh, Easter eggs in there. You could use it for St. Patrick's Day. You could put soaps in it in your bathroom. Um, you know, you could use it at Christmas time. Put some pine cones in it or some Christmas bulbs. Very, very pretty. I mean, it's got some paint loss on the gold. But other than that, there's no cracks, no chips. Very pretty piece. I got a bunch of Avon stuff, too. Uh, let me show you this stuff first. I got this adorable little, I guess it's like a Basset Hound, I'm thinking. I thought maybe it was uh, a home ceramic piece, um, and it very well could be, but there's no writing, nobody signed it or anything. There's no date. Look at that face. <laughs> so he's a cutie. Uh, then I got, it was a set of three of these for like two something, less 25%. And they're beautiful. These are little trinket boxes. Look how pretty these are. And of course, just because I want to, I can't get it open. What's the issue? Hello? Is it taped? No. <laughs> I can't get it open. Here. It won't open. This one opens, no problem. They're all in perfect condition. <laughs> Just can't get it open either. <laughs> so, <laughs> got three of those. One you can't open. I wonder if they glued it. Why would they glue it? That's <laughs> very true. Um, these are. Uh, you got it. Okay, so now I'm afraid to close it again. Oh, okay, it's just a little harder to open, but yeah, it works. All right. These are gorgeous. For my strawberry lovers out there, I am a strawberry lover, and these are really pretty. I am very tempted to keep these, but I'm not going to because I have, like, way too many cups. Yep. Nobody's talking to you. <laughs> My cup collection has substantially decreased. Yeah, but you probably still have at least 30. No. Okay, 25. <laughs> Whatever's in that bottom cabinet. Yeah. Uh, these are Alpine, <clears throat> excuse me, Alpine Strawberry, Fine Bone China, Roy Kirkham, uh, Made in England, 2000. So these are 21 years old already. Look at these gorgeous cups. We got a little bumblebee on there. Perfect condition. No cracks, no chips, no crazing, nothing. They're gorgeous. So there's those. Put those in here. In keeping with strawberries. Uh, I purchased these, and of course, they were green tag. They were $3.49, less than 25%, and I'm trying not to rip the box, but you know what? They put the stickers on paper boxes. What do you think's going to happen? So, these are, as I said, Avon, and it is this set. You get... These two Oops. strawberry napkin rings, and it says uh, produced in Brazil exclusively for Avon, and then it comes with a strawberry uh, soap, and can I tell you, this smells amazing. Oh my goodness, smells amazing. So that's that. That was a nice little set. And again, with the strawberries, 
I got, this is, this was again, $2.12, uh, a strawberry porcelain plate uh, and six strawberry guest soaps. So let me show you, I had a hard ass time getting this out of the box yesterday. Okay. All right, so. Here are the six strawberry guest soaps. Can you put those, put them in a dish on the counter? In your bathroom or whatever, yeah. And then so here. You're not actually supposed to use them, right? Like they're well, you could, decorations. Yeah, but you could use them if you wanted to, but they probably would make the bathroom smell really good too. And then here is the strawberry plate. And um, this plate actually goes with the, um, those tall strawberry shakers. Um, I had two of them that I sold. Uh, I believe this is all part of the same um, set, actually. Uh, it's 22 karat gold rim, and this is from 1978. And it's in perfect, brand new condition. So, that was a really nice deal there. You know, I'm just thinking, I think I might have saw the strawberry shaker there and I should have got it, but it didn't dawn on me at the time that it was the same pattern as this plate. So I might have to go back and get it if it's still there. Um, uh, back to Avon, I purchased four boxes of these little animals. There were two animals per box. And I think I got them for like a dollar something a box with the discount. And they all came in their little plastic bags. I'll show them all to you. Just get them out of the little bags. These are just adorable. And I will probably um, sell these all in one lot maybe. I'm not positive. So let's start with. This cute little, I believe this is a, is this a dog? Yes. These are source of, these are 1992. We have this adorable little dog or a bear. He might be a bear playing with a beach ball. Then we have... <laughs> This little squirrel with an acorn top on his head. <laughs> He's adorable. Then we have this little, uh, I don't know. What is this? What it kind of animal is that? It has ears like a mouse. It has a long tail, so maybe it is a mouse that doesn't have a long nose. But he's like roller skating. We have another little, this is a dog, I believe. He's cute. We have another little squirrel, and he's standing on the other part of the acorn. So these, those two were a set. These two are a set right here. And this one goes with this one. <laughs> On the roller skates. Then we have, oh, look at this little kitty with the plate of cookies. Look at his face, giving the old side eye. And look at her. She's got the milk. Those are just adorable. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, 
Okay, so that goes with that. This guy goes with this guy. And there we go. So that was all those cute little figurines. Then I purchased, this is Avon as well. Look at this gorgeous <laughs> butter dish. It looks like terracotta almost, but I believe it is ceramic, I think. It's gorgeous, look at it. And there it is, Avon. That's a very pretty butter dish. Let's put that in here. Uh, let me see, I'll put it down here. There we go. And this can go over there. Uh, then I purchased this really pretty uh, carafe, I guess you could say, or a uh, some kind of a, a pot. Uh, it is actually, it's signed on the bottom, so it's pottery. It looks like it says K-I-T-Z, kids. But it's just really very plain, and it has like a, it kind of has, it's white, but it has a bluish hue to it. And it just has those very plain little flowers on each side. Um, I don't see any chips or cracks or anything. That's the way it looks on the inside. There's the handle. It's an applied handle, it looks like. Maybe not. I'm not sure, but I think. Uh, no chips or cracks on the lid. It's like a greenish-bluish hue. Almost like a really pale celery green, I would say. But very pretty piece. Is that gonna fit? No, let's put it in this one. And then we'll put the dog in there. There we go. All right, I just have three pieces left, guys. Let me put my little animal figurines away so they don't get broken. All right. Ah! All right. I bought this beautiful clear glass little bud vase because it is so dainty. Look at the ruffled edge. And it's got that uh, kind of a swirly looking pattern, like paneled. Just a really pretty bud vase. That would look gorgeous holding a single stem red rose beautiful piece. Then I got these two Waterford uh, oil and vinegar cruets. I think these are beautiful. They're in excellent condition, no cracks, no chips. They also had a pitcher there too, but you know what? I'm so I'm done with the really large heavy items. So I I passed on it. And they also had a gorgeous um ice bucket too, but that sold, I think. But yeah. So I got those. And my last item is uh I just sold one of these and I found another one. Beautiful Fenton Hobnail uh scalloped edge bowl. It's in excellent condition. There's no cracks, no chips. So I saw it and I figured, ah, I'll pick it up because I know everybody likes milk glass. Well, a lot of people like milk glass. So, uh, there you have it. <laughs> Holy cow. That was quite a bit. Um, I don't know where to put this at the moment, so we'll just put it right there. Oh, no, one more thing. Did you do those little boxes behind you? No, that's what those little animals came in. Oh. Um, when I went to uh, Goodwill with Jessica, I forgot to show you this. I don't know why I forgot. Um, another beautifully handmade, I think this is knitting, but I don't know. Another gorgeous baby blanket. It's just, 
it's so pretty. Excellent condition. So um, all of these baby blankets are going to be for resale. Um, it could also be used as a lap uh, blanket as well. You know, it doesn't just have to be a baby blanket. Put so. that on the back of your couch for Easter. Yeah, yep, yeah, because it's Easter colors. That's that's a good point. You could put it on, you know, like a chair or whatever for Easter. Yep. Yeah. Beautiful blanket. Now that's everything. So, let me know what you guys think. What's your favorite thing that I got out of this haul? I uh, I really can't pick one. Um, huh. I don't know. It's fine. You don't have I to. I think my favorite thing is the... Um, the handmade baby sweater and bonnet and the two uh, matching blankets. That's my favorite um, favorite uh, item in this haul video. Uh, I think I, I got quite a bit of stuff for the money and I'm pretty happy about it. Uh, and let me know if you guys um, like the, um, the little beanie boos. Um, I mean, I only charge $5 a piece for them. <laughs> so let me know how your feelings on, you know, stuffed animals and stuff like that. I'd be really curious to know if you guys like them, if you're interested, or if you're not, you know, let me know. I'm going to choke. <coughs> Pardon me. All righty. <laughs> you're talking too much. Yes. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> So, uh, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please consider becoming a subscriber. I would really appreciate it. Uh, my next uh, things coming up are tomorrow, uh, Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I have a two-way sale What's with the, date? the 25th. Uh -huh. Hello, we're in February. Everybody yeah, knows if we're in. Somebody sees it like you know a different day, then they'll realize that they missed it. So that's why you got to give them the actual. February twenty fifth at three p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm having a two way sale with Cindy from Cindy's Thrifting again. So look for that video tomorrow. Saturday, I have my normal um, live sale at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, that would be uh, the 27th. And um, then the following Tuesday, which is, is it the 2nd or the 1st? March. I think it's March, March 2nd at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be having my uh, monthly sale with Crafty Jackie, but we are having another guest with us. We are um, going to be also selling with um, Jane from Doggone Happy Vintage. So this sale will be a three-way sale. So I hope you guys will um, be around for all these upcoming um, great sales that we have and... Uh, I also will be uploading a shop along video from one of the antique stores that I really love to go to. And following that video will also be um, a haul video. So stay tuned, everybody. There's a lot coming up. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Take care. Bye.